MTR Corporation Limited is a company listed on the Hong Kong Exchange and Hang Seng Index. MTR runs the Hong Kong MTR Metro system, and is also a major property developer and landlord in Hong Kong. It also invests in railways in different parts in the world, and has obtained contracts to operate rapid transit systems in London, Stockholm, Beijing, Shenzhen, Hanzhou, and Melbourne. History of the Corporation The Mass Transit Railway Corporation was established in 1975 as a government-owned statutory corporation to build and operate a mass transit railway system to meet Hong Kong's public transport needs. On June 30, 2000 the MTRC was succeeded by the MTR Corporation Limited. As with the MTRC, the MTRCL's principal business is to operate the mass transit railway system. Following a successful initial public offering, the MTRCL was listed on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange on October 5, 2000, however the government is still a major stakeholder in the MTRCL. On December 2, 2007, the company started running the original KCA railway system under a concession agreement with the Hong Kong government in what was known as the MTRCL-KCRC merger. The Chinese name of the company became E Unregistered Trademark E, e Micron E, e O Permel E Unregistered Trademark A, but the English equivalent remained MTR Corporation. The logo of MTR symbolizes a railway line connecting Hong Kong Island and Kowloon. Privatization On October 5, 2000, the MTR Corporation Limited became Hong Kong's first privatized rail and metro company which marked the start of the Hong Kong government's planned initiative to win down its interests in various public utilities. Prior to its listing on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, the Mass Transit Railway Corporation was wholly owned by the Hong Kong government. The offering involved the sale of around 1 billion shares, and the company now has around 250,000 shareholders. In June 2001, MTO was transferred to Hang Seng Index. At the time of the initial public offering, the company was operating with a budget surplus of 360 Hong Kong dollars a million, which had increased from a surplus of 278 Hong Kong dollars a million in 1997. However, after the IPO profits decreased as the company lost much of its subsidies from the government, dropping to 139 Hong Kong dollars a million. Yet, this trend seems to have reversed as profits grew more than tenfold in the fourth quarter of 2004, making it one of the few profitable public transport systems in the world. MTR Corporation has always been reliant on developing properties next to railway stations for its profits. Many recently built stations are incorporated into large housing estates or shopping complexes. Examples of this type of construction can be seen at Tsing Yi Station, which is built next to the Maritime Square Shopping Center and directly underneath the Tierra Verde housing estate. Operations by Market, Hong Kong The MTR Corporation Limited is responsible for the operation of MTR in Hong Kong. Besides railway operations, the MTRCL is also actively involved in the development of key residential and commercial projects above existing stations and along new line extensions as well as many other commercial activities associated with the railway. The most recent of such developments was the large popcorn shopping center development which was built in conjunction with Sung Kwon O Station. The MTRCL is also involved in the letting of retail and poster advertising space, ATM banking facilities, and personal telecommunication services. It also provides consultancy services to organizations worldwide. Rail Services Mass Transit Railway is the rapid transit railway system in Hong Kong. Originally opened in 1979, the system now includes 218.2 km of rail with 152 stations, including 84 railway stations and 68 light rail stops. MTRKCR Merger There had been some discussion of merging the Kowloon Euro Canton Railway Corporation, which was also government-owned, and the MTR to make the territory's transport system more efficient. The MTRCL backed such a merge while the KCRC opposed the plan. In March 2004, the Hong Kong government officially encouraged the two companies to merge. On April 11, 2006, the Hong Kong government officially announced the details of the proposed merger. 
Under the non-binding Memorandum of Understanding the government is signed with KCRC, KCRC would grant a service concession to the MTRCL to operate the KCR system, with an initial period of 50 years. The KCRC would receive a one-time upfront payment of 4 Hong Kong dollars and 25 cents a billion, a fixed annual payment of 750 Hong Kong dollars a million and a variable annual payment based on revenues generated from operation of the KCR system. In addition, MTRCL would make a payment of $7.79 a billion for the acquisition of property and other related commercial interests. The railway lines the KCRC operated were less profitable than the MTRC, and the KCRC was less active in property development. It was widely considered that the government's choice was to avoid being criticized for selling assets of the KCRC, which it wholly owned to MTRCL at an underpriced level. Leasing the operation right of the KCR system to the MTRCL could avoid actually selling the KCRC. On December 2, 2007, the Chinese name of the MTRCL was changed to E Unregistered Trademark EE Micron EEO Permel E Unregistered Trademark -E after being granted the service concession while the English name will remain unchanged. The KCRC is now a holding company of the KCR system, without actual railway operations. The merger was approved by shareholders of the MTRCL on October 9, 2007. The merger is effective for 50 years. Fare reductions, all adult octopus card holders would be the first to benefit from the merger. Student and concessionary octopus holders would also benefit from the merger by further reducing $0.1 from their 50% off fares. Student octopus holders would continue to pay the current reduced concessionary fares on the MTR network. Elderly octopus holders would be introduced to a new fare system which only the elderly can enjoy a $2 fare to anywhere on the MTR network. Future expansions The following railway links are being constructed by MTR currently, West Island Line, South Island Line to be completed in 2015, Kwantong Line Extension, Sha Tin to Central Link. The following railway links are planned by MTR, and currently under the consultation from the HKSAR government, South Island Line West. Under planning, Northern Link, North Island Line, Property Management. Property is one of the main businesses of the MTR with the profits from this arm outstripping those from fares. In 2009 of a net profit of 7.3 Hong Kong dollars a billion. MTR made 3 Hong Kong dollars and 55 cents a billion from property and 2 Hong Kong dollars and 12 cents a billion from transport operations. The MTR tries to develop suitable sites related to their new railway projects and their existing railway. For instance, the reclaimed land situated in West Kowloon that is owned by the MTR will be developed into an area with residential, office and retail space. Two of Hong Kong's largest banks. HSBC and the Bank of China to have office towers there. Furthermore, will be more than 7,000 housing units in the development. The MTR also owns several shopping centers, as well as the new International Finance Center. Shopping centers, the MTR Corporation invested heavily to develop large-scale shopping centers around MTR stations. The most recent example is the popcorn located at Sung Kwon O Station. It is a mall connecting the adjacent malls, and act as the platform of the high-end housing and hotels. The other example of such a shopping center is Maritime Square located at Tsing Yi Station. Maritime Square is a nautical-themed mall in which there are supermarkets, boutiques, bookstores, a cinema, and restaurants. Since Tsing Yi Station serves as the transportation hub for Tsing Yi, Maritime Square is also easily accessible by other transportation means including buses and taxis. Other shopping centers developed and managed by the corporation include Paradise Mall, Telford Plaza, Luck Young Galeria and The Lane. United Kingdom, in 2004, MTA together with Sea Containers bid for the Southeastern Rail franchise. However, Govia was selected instead. MTA bid for the West Midlands franchise in England but later withdrew their bid. The company and Line Rail established a joint venture for the London Overground franchise. In December 2006, Govia and MTR Line were selected to submit best and final offers for the franchise. On June 19, 2007, 
MTR Lying won the London Overground franchise. MTR Lying has since changed its name to London Overground Rail Operations Limited, as Lying Rail Group has become acquired by Germany's Deutsche Bahn. LOROL is mainly managed by Lying Rail Group management moved from their Chiltern Railways division with MTR providing specialists as needed. In February 2009, MTR Corporation was shortlisted to operate the Tyne and Weir Metro service in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, and in November 2013 were announced as a bidder for the Scott Rail franchise. On July 18, 2014, Transport for London announced MTR Crossrail had won the concession to operate Crossrail for eight years, with an option for a further two years. Sweden, on January 20, 2009, it was announced that MTR was awarded the contract to operate the Stockholm Metro. The contract is for eight years with an option to extend the agreement for another six years. MTR started operating the Metro on November 2, 2009. MTR has decided to start fast long-distance traffic under own ticket sales using the brand name MTR Express. They have ordered six electric multiple units of type Stagela Flirt. They will start traffic between Stockholm and Gothenburg late 2014. Australia, in July 2008 there were reports that they are bidding to have the right to operate Melbourne's extensive metropolitan train network, aligned with United Group. In August 2008 it was confirmed that they had been shortlisted. On June 25, 2009 MTA were awarded the rights to operate Melbourne's train network as part of a joint venture with John Holland Melbourne Rail Franchise and United Group Rail Services. The contract began on November 30, 2009 and it will continue for eight years, with the option of extending that contract for another seven years. It is set to operate as a locally themed consortium MTM. MTR took over from Melbourne's existing network operator on November 30, 2009. On June 24, 2014, Northwest Rapid Transit Consortium, a consortium consisting of MTR, John Holland, Leighton Contractors, Plenary Group and UGL Rail, was selected as the preferred operator to deliver the Northwest Rail Link operations contract. The Northwest Rail Link is expected to open in 2019 or 2020. People's Republic of China, the company concluded initials concession agreement to build Phase 2 of the Lingba line of Tianjin Metro, and to operate the whole line on a BOT basis for 30 years. The Phase 2 of Lingba line have been in test run for passengers since June 16, 2011. The company has also formed a joint venture Beijing MTR Corporation Limited with Beijing Capital Group and the Beijing Infrastructure Investment Company to build and operate Line 4 of Beijing Subway and its extension Daxing Line of Beijing Metro for 30 years since its inauguration. The company formed a new joint venture MTR Hansho with Hansho Metro Group in 2012 to operate Line 1 of Hansho Metro for 28 years, in which MTR holds 49% of the stock. See also, MTR, Kowloon Canton Railway Corporation, References External links, MTR customer website, press release on Wuhan, history and development of the company, Edgar Online. Transport for London press release, MTR properties and MTR property management, Maritime Square website, Paradise Mall website, Luck Young Galeria website, Telford Plaza website, Residence Portal, Documentaries, MTR Underground Iron, The Building of a Railway, 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 MTR Underground Iron, The Building of a Railway.